Hey gamers, how are you today? Some of you may know from my previous videos, I love Sega and my all time favorite gaming machine is still the Sega Mega Drive. But despite that, the company let me down a few times with some decisions and a few sequels or games that were not released that I was really looking forward to play. So in this video, I'm going to point that disappoints that I have. Obvious, these points are just my personal opinion that you may agree or not. So let's start. No Golden Axe Revenge of Death Heather in home consoles. Golden Axe was one of my early Sega passions and my favorite game in the series is Revenge of Death Heather that was released in the arcades in 1992 and we still today don't have a home console port of this game. In my opinion it was perfect to be released in the Dreamcast but even if they didn't have the opportunity to port the game to the Dreamcast, why the game wasn't released in the countless Sega collection for modern consoles. It is a great game that every gamer would love to play. Lucky for me, I have an arcade machine at home. Even my son, that only have 8 years old, love to play that game. No Master System Classic Mini I never had a Master System when it was released. I only bought one a couple of years ago for my collection. And the few games I played was by emulation. I love the classic mini consoles as you can see by the picture. And I play almost every day in these machines. And every time I look at my classic mini collection it feels incomplete without the master system. Because I would love to play some exclusive games that the master system still have in the classic mini console with the original pad like I do daily with my other classic mini consoles. No Street of Rage in the Sega Saturn and Dreamcast. I love the Street of Rage series. It is my favorite childhood series and I had to wait more than 25 years for the release of the Street of Rage 4. Because Sega didn't release a sequel for the Sega Saturn and the Dreamcast. Street of Rage was and still is today one of the most beloved Sega series. And it was one of the games that sold more copies in the Sega Mega Drive. So in my opinion, it has no logic and it was frustrating not to see the release of Street of Rage 4 sooner. Sega 32X I'm going to be honest, I have fun playing some games in this add-on. Views Racing Deluxe, Colibri, Mortal Kombat 2, Doom. But it was a bad decision to have released this console almost at the same time as the Sega Saturn. The 32X only have 40 games and it was a disappointing console for those like me that bought in the release date. No Virtua Fighters 2 in the Sega Saturn release date. With the release of the first Tekken in the original PlayStation, Sega should have released Virtua Fighters 2 for the Sega Saturn in the release day to show the Saturn power. It took 2 years for Sega to release the game and by the time the PlayStation was far ahead in sales. We already had the first Virtua Fighter in the Sega 32X and for casual gamers who saw the first Tekken on the PlayStation 1 and Virtua Fighters 1 in the Sega Saturn got the idea that the PlayStation was much more powerful which could be avoided by the releasing of Virtua Fighters 2 sooner. No Turrican 2 in the Mega Drive this is not a Sega mistake because Turrican 2 is not a Sega franchise but is the most disappointing thing I have in my beloved Sega Mega Drive. I love the Turrican series and we only had Turrican 1 and 3 in the Mega Drive because the Turrican 2 was released under the name Universal Soldier. And please look at this disgusting game. They completely screw up one of the best games ever made. And for me, I have to wait over 30 years to play Turrican 2 that it is in my top 10 favorite games ever in the Turrican flashback released for the Nintendo Switch. No Shinobi or Shadow Dancer Arcade in the Mega Drive. I love the Shinobi series and you can see that in my previous videos. And I love the first Shinobi and Shadow Dancer, both released in the arcades and in the Master System. The Master System conversion of both games are great but as expected not as good as the arcade games. The Sega Mega Drive would have made a conversion much more faithful to the originals 
It was a disappointing for me having Revenge of Shinobi and Shinobi 3 and not have the first one. And although I love Shadow Dancer The Secret of Shinobi, I also would love to have the arcade version in the Mega Drive. The Dreamcast Control Pad in my personal opinion, it was completely unthinkable to have a control pad with just one analogic stick in the 6th generation. The Nintendo GameCube, the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox all have two analogic sticks. And with that we avoid the annoying and frustrating tank controls. Also the awful D-pad that was almost useless in fighting games that was one of the strong points in the console library was another mistake the Sega Mega Drive and the Saturn have the best d-pad ever to play fighting games and this one was almost useless the Dreamcast pad was in my opinion one of the main reasons for the console failed and the other I'm going to tell you next failing to add a DVD player to the Dreamcast DVD movies was a new thing around the release of the 6th generation and one of the main reasons the PlayStation 2 sold that much because at the time DVD players were very expensive and the PlayStation 2 was the cheapest option to see DVD movies at home but that was just because Sega failed to add a DVD player in the Dreamcast because the Dreamcast was released cheaper than the PlayStation 2 with a better pad and with a console reading DVDs I'm sure that the history would be different today no Skies of Arcadia sequel. I love RPGs and the first ones I played were Grandia 2 and Skies of Arcadia in the Dreamcast. And despite I prefer Grandia 2, I also absolutely love the Skies of Arcadia. The world map, the battle between ships, the wonderful cast, the villains, the battle system. I love, 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 love this game. And it's a shame that we never had a sequel. In 2020, the main developer Kenji Iruta expressed interest in returning to the series, but despite that we never had any news about the sequel. And that's it gamers, those were 10 times Sega disappoint me. As always, I hope you liked this video and wait wait wait, Golden X3 was also a crap and a huge disappointment. Like I was saying, I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you in the next one, take care.